let's see here. Hi. Um, I'm in the kitchen today. Uh, yes, lovely kitchen. It's somewhat clean than we normally have it. Um, I kind of set up beforehand. Really, the only thing I didn't do is one thing. <laughs> um, I gotta find what I'm looking for. I should have found it before I started the video, but you get to go on a somewhat video tour with me, and I think I found it. I did. I found it. It's here. Okay. Now, the lighting in here sucks, because we only got the one overhead light. But we do have some outdoor light, thanks to our lovely sunroom window there. Uh, anyway, not sure how much that's going to help us. Okay, so... Uh, I think it was two years ago I found this online, and I haven't tried it yet, but I've been wanting to. Um, it's called Three Ingredient Banana Bread Cookies. Not sure how this is going to work. Um, <laughs> hmm. Sorry for my camera skills. Playing with the new selfie stick that I got yesterday. Anyway, um, so I got the ingredients, and you, as you will see in just a moment. Um, it takes bananas, rolled oats, and chopped walnuts. Which, okay, the bananas here. No, 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 no. There's the bananas. Let's see if I can get you on the bananas. There's the bananas. They don't look too good, I know. But they're bananas. Okay. They're old bananas. That's what counts. <laughs> okay. And then we have our old-fashioned oats. Yay! And then I didn't get walnuts. I got cashews. Don't ask me why. You can't see it, but there you go. Now you can. Cashews. Um, so that's supposedly the only three ingredients you need for this. Um, hmm. Sorry, let me get through all my lock screens on my phone here. Um, anyway. It seems easy. You just mash the bananas, as you will watch me do. I probably speed it up after I edit it, but let me see here. Okay, this isn't the best angle I know, but we're gonna cook with me today, bake with me, whatever you want to call it. That's what we're doing today. And I lost my page, but that's okay. I got it saved in my gallery. Yay! Um, I think I did. Yes, I did. Huh. Okay. So, we're gonna follow along here. Mind you, while I've been chatting and getting all this lovely stuff here prepared, um, which I'm gonna try something. Can we get a picture here? I think we can. I don't know. We'll find out. Anyway. If that turned out. If not, I'll get a picture later. Um, okay, so we're gonna bake with me today. So I need a smasher spoon thing. Yes. Utensil to smash these very ripe, ripely. Here's one banana that's very ripe. I think he's the ripest one actually. Um, my boyfriend is in the other room and he's listening, I'm sure. And he probably thinks I'm nuts for talking to a, talking to you guys in the kitchen. Because I don't normally do videos for baking. But I wanted to be different and see if you guys like it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put in all the lovely other two bananas. It only calls for two mashed bananas. But we have three overripe bananas that neither one of us wants to eat and I usually bake banana bread with them 
but I don't feel like baking banana bread. So, I remembered this recipe because it popped up the other day from my memories on Facebook. And I wanted to try it. And I figured I'd make a video while I tried it. Give me a moment to wash my hands from the banana ness. Oh. No, 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 no. Okay. You, you probably are having an issue too hearing me over the dishwasher, but we needed to wash dishes. So that's what's going on. Okay. Hands are clean. Okay. I need a drink of coffee. Oh, okay. Coffee in my new cup. Anyway. Okay, back to what I was doing. Uh, take the lovely spoon and the lovely bananas in the bowl here that are over ripened. They need to be mashed. And you mash away. Yes. I will probably edit this so you guys don't have to technically wash me. Ugh, wash. Wash! Yes, you're going to wash me. No, you won't have to watch this, like, I don't know, it's 104 right now. Let's see how long it takes me to mash these bananas to a right, to the consistency I think they need to be for these cookie things. This. Yeah, it's going to take a while. Uh, no, maybe not. I don't know. It just turned to 105, so keeping you updated here. Um, I don't know, maybe I won't edit this out. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway. Okay. Well, we still have to add the uh, oatmeal thing to it. But I think it's rather mashed because that's usually how I have the bananas when I bake my bread. So I consider it mashed. What do you say? Is it mashed? I think it is. Okay. Next. Yeah. What do we have here? Oh, okay. And the next ingredient is add oats and walnuts. But it says one cup of oats. Okay. So we're going to add one cup. But I am not good at judging by look. So we're going to measure one cup. See, one cup. Okay, so we're going to take the lovely oats here. Yay. And we're going to scoop out a cup of oats. Yay! Okay, I now have one cup of oats. Yay! And we're going to get the it meal thingy out of the way now. And maybe we will have some better lightning. Ugh, light. On the counter we are working on. Okay, let's try this now. Oh, okay. Move that in. Okay, move the phone. Okay, now here's the one cup oats into the mashed bananas. Because that's what it says. So that's what we're doing. I will wash that in a little bit. Okay. Anyway, now you get to see me mix. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see how it's mixing? Eh, you kind of can. Anyway, I'm going to mix this before I add the nuts because I think that's what you're supposed to do. Now, I do. Still don't know if these are going to turn out, but I like to bake, and my boyfriend likes to be my test victim for baking, because he's not the best baker. He admits it. If he was in here, he'd probably tell you himself, but he is an awesome cook, whereas I can't cook. <laughs> Maybe we will do a cooking with dream session besides a baking with dream session. Hmm. I don't know. 
depends on if my boyfriend trusts me for that. Um, yeah. Anyway, okay. I'm going to consider that mixed. Yeah, mixed. Okay. Now, for the mm, supposed to be walnuts, but I'm taking cashews, you're supposed to have a fourth cup of chopped walnuts. Okay. I don't want to chop them, but I guess we will. What do you chop cashews with? I don't know. Anyway, do we really have to measure these? They look so good and tasty. Yeah. See? Oh, no, you can't see. There. Now you can see. Mmm. Yeah, he's good. Okay. I'm not going to chop them. I'm just going to break them up and put them in the bowl with the other stuff. But this is probably going to take forever. Yeah. And I'm not going to measure. I'm just going to go for how much I think should be in there. Because I like cashews. So if there's a little more than what it calls for, I think I'm okay with that. And I think my boyfriend will be too, because I think he likes cashews too. Otherwise he won't let me get these. Anyway. Of course should I say I wouldn't put this in here if he wasn't going to be my test victim. I mean, volunteer. Yeah. He's my volunteer victim test thing. I don't know. Anyways. Yay, you get to watch me. Um, break apart the cashews and talk to you about random stuff because I don't know what to talk about. Hmm. What shall we talk about? Um, hmm. I don't think it's raining out, so I might go take a walk outside later. <laughs> um, I like to make random singing noises when I'm baking, and my boyfriend's not too fond of that. Because I'm not the best singer. But I don't technically sing. Okay, maybe I do a little bit. It depends on what's playing. As you can see, I'm wearing a Walking Dead t-shirt. Because today's Sunday. And The Walking Dead comes on tonight. 9 p.m. AMC. Yay. Um. So. Yeah. I'm excited for that. This is a lot of cashews. I haven't figured I did that many already. Ah, he won't break anymore. Okay, and he won't break at all. He's little. Okay, a couple more, and then I'm gonna mix it. And well, I guess I'll show you guys, and then I'll mix it and see if I should add more or not. So, get a little nut thing out of the way. Grab a towel and get some of the saltiness off my hands. Okay, that's what I got so far in the bowl. Doesn't it look good? Okay, we will stir. It's so weird looking up trying to stir while I'm trying to see if it's in frame, and it is, because I made sure of it before I started the video. <sighs> okay, so, I don't know. Looks like everybody will have, all the spoonfuls will have some of everything in it. So I'm going to call that good. Okay, so we will close this, this container and move it off to the side. Okay, now next step. As I get to the multiple lock screens again. Um, 
Okay, drop tablespoons of batter on a baking sheet. And then, so that's what we're going to do next. As you can see, I have a baking sheet right here. I'll pull it for into the frame. I just need to spray it still. So we're going to do that now. So we're going to spray with the spray here. Okay. He sprayed. Okay. Now, we're going to take the mixture of the three ingredients and take a spoon that I've been mashing it and stirring it with, and we're going to drop it onto the thing. The, well, I guess this is called a baking sheet, right? Baking sheet. I'm going to do three across. Uh, here, see what these turn out like. And we'll see how many go down. But anyway, do three across. I'm on my second row. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I can get two more rows. I don't know. These aren't all the same size. I'm not going to be picky and try and make them the same size because I don't know what to expect with how these are going to cook or shall I say bake in the oven. So I'm trying to somewhat make them the same size but they're not. Yeah. Okay well I guess uh, it makes about from what I can see here, if I'm doing the desired size for the cookies. Ah, I just tossed a cookie batter there. Okay. Uh, I got like enough for like two more. So we're gonna try and make room on the baking sheet for the last couple. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So we're just kind of plop them in the middle. Okay, this might be like more like three more rather than two more. But they're just going to kind of float in the middle of wherever I can find a spot for them. So, as you can see, we're just, uh, the amount that we had, I got 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15 piles of cookies on the baking sheet. Okay. Now, what we're going to do with the, this is try and take another photo. No, 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 no. Can we get all the cookies? The beforehand baked cookies in the cookie? I mean, in the, ah, I'm shaking. Sorry. Might not take photos too well. Okay. Anyway. Now, we will put you back up here so you can see. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. Now, we're going to grab the front. And I'm going to tell you how long to bake them for. Okay. Now, it says, bake for 12 to 15 minutes at 350 degrees. So, that's what we will do. As you can see, this is what uh, I'm following. You can't really see it, but that's what I'm following. Um, I'll try and add a photo somewhere to, uh, or write it down in the description box below. But, yeah. Okay, so 12 to 15 minutes at 350 degrees. Okay. Okay, as you can see. 
my no 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 maybe you can't okay yes you can my oven is preheated at 350 you don't know it's 350 but it is 350 so i'm gonna place these in the oven and get my timer set up real quick okay so while i'm setting up the timer let me get back on here where is my timer again there it is i'm gonna go with 15 minutes just to be on the safe side we'll try it out we'll do 15. this is my first time so i could always adjust it but we'll see what it looks like okay so 15 minutes is set on the timer can you see that can we see it it's so hard to point when you're trying not to look at it. There it is. Okay. 15 minutes. And it's 119. And you can't see the clock. 119 right now. I will see you in 15 minutes. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.